Have you ever wondered how a desert kingdom like Saudi Arabia manages its water needs? It's a question that has puzzled many, considering that Saudi Arabia is predominantly a desert country, with arid landscapes stretching as far as the eye can see. The concept of water scarcity is a pressing reality here, where rain is a rare occurrence and water bodies are few and far between. Despite these seemingly insurmountable odds, Saudi Arabia has managed to quench the thirst of its population and maintain its agricultural activities. The country's efforts in overcoming water scarcity are nothing short of remarkable, especially when you consider the geographical and climatic challenges it faces. The story of water in Saudi Arabia is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience in the face of adversity. It is a tale of how a nation has turned a challenge into an opportunity demonstrating that even in the harshest of conditions, life can not only survive, but thrive. So, the question remains, how does Saudi Arabia do it? One of the key strategies in Saudi Arabia's water management is desalination. Desalination, in essence, is a process that removes salt and other minerals from seawater, transforming it into fresh water that's safe for human consumption and irrigation. This process has become a lifeline for Saudi Arabia, a country where fresh water resources are scarce. Imagine a vast desert with limited rainfall and no rivers. Now, imagine an equally vast body of water, the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf bordering this desert. Herein lies the paradox of Saudi Arabia, a land of thirst surrounded by an ocean of salt water. But thanks to desalination, this salt water can quench the thirst of millions. The country's desalination plants, which are some of the largest in the world, achieve this by employing a variety of techniques. These range from multi-stage flash distillation, where seawater is heated and evaporated multiple times, to reverse osmosis, where high pressure forces seawater through a membrane that filters out the salts. However, desalination is not without its challenges. For one, it's an energy-intensive process. Saudi Arabia, despite being an oil-rich nation, is conscious of the need to manage its energy resources carefully. The high energy consumption of desalination plants is a critical factor that can't be overlooked. Moreover, there are environmental considerations. The brine, a super salty byproduct of desalination, needs to be disposed of carefully to prevent harm to marine ecosystems. Plus, the carbon footprint of these operations, given their energy requirements, is a matter of concern. Despite these challenges, Saudi Arabia's commitment to desalination remains unwavering. The country is investing in research and development to make the process more efficient and less harmful to the environment. They're looking at innovative solutions like harnessing solar power for desalination and exploring ways to put the brine to good use instead of merely discarding it. Through desalination, the desert kingdom has turned the surrounding seas into a crucial water source. This ingenious solution to a pressing problem is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience when faced with the forces of nature. Another significant source of water for Saudi Arabia is beneath the ground. Imagine the vast Arabian desert, its expanse seemingly endless. But beneath the surface, there's an entirely different story. A hidden treasure, if you will, in the form of underground water reserves. But how does one tap into such a resource? It's quite a fascinating process. Firstly, the location of these underground reservoirs, or aquifers as they're known, is determined through geological surveys and exploratory drilling. Once a suitable aquifer is found, wells are drilled deep into the ground to access the water. The water is then pumped to the surface using submersible pumps. These powerful devices are capable of bringing water from depths of several hundred feet. However, the extraction process is not without its challenges. The water often contains high levels of salt and other minerals, which need to be removed before the water is suitable for use. Now you might be wondering about the volume of these reserves. It's estimated that Saudi Arabia has around 230 billion cubic meters of recoverable water in its underground reserves. That's roughly equivalent to the volume of 140 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. Quite a staggering amount, isn't it? However, while this might seem like a lot, we need to consider the rate at which the water is being used. With the kingdom's burgeoning population and expanding agricultural sector, the demand for water is steadily increasing. In fact, these reserves are being depleted at an alarming rate, faster than they can naturally be replenished. This brings us to the crux of the matter. The sustainability of this method is a major concern. While underground water extraction provides a crucial supplement to the kingdom's water supply, its continued reliance on this method could lead to a significant depletion of these reserves, 
potentially impacting the country's long-term water security. This method, while effective, raises concerns about long-term sustainability. Water conservation plays a crucial part in Saudi Arabia's water management strategies. This isn't just a mantra, but a vital necessity in a land where water is as precious as gold. Saudi Arabia has been proactive in implementing a range of water conservation methods that have not only helped to save water, but have also contributed to the preservation of the country's delicate ecosystem. One of the key areas of focus is water reuse. In Saudi Arabia, water reuse is a major conservation strategy. The country has invested significantly in advanced water treatment plants that purify wastewater to a standard that's safe for use in agriculture and industry. This recycled water is then used for irrigation, freeing up more of the precious resource for human consumption. On the subject of irrigation, Saudi Arabia has also made strides in implementing efficient irrigation techniques. Traditional irrigation methods are notoriously wasteful, with a significant amount of water lost to evaporation and runoff. To address this, Saudi Arabia has adopted modern techniques like drip irrigation and sprinkler systems. Drip irrigation, for instance, delivers water directly to the root zone of plants, minimizing waste and ensuring the crops get exactly the amount of water they need. Sprinkler systems, on the other hand, mimic natural rainfall, providing a more even distribution of water and can be programmed to operate during the cooler parts of the day to minimize evaporation. The government has also launched public awareness campaigns to educate citizens about the importance of water conservation and to promote water-saving habits. These efforts, combined with strict regulations on water use, have played a significant role in reducing water consumption in the kingdom. These initiatives demonstrate that water conservation isn't just about saving water. It's about implementing sustainable practices that ensure the resource is used responsibly and effectively, securing a water-secure future for the generations to come. Through conservation, Saudi Arabia is making every drop count, and in a country where water is a scarce resource, every drop indeed counts. Despite the challenges, Saudi Arabia is looking towards a sustainable water future. As the nation steps into the next decade, its vision for water management is evolving, and it's all about sustainability and innovation. Saudi Arabia is turning to the sun and wind to power its water supply. With the nation's abundant sunshine and wind resources, renewable energy is a natural choice for powering desalination plants. Saudi Arabia is investing heavily in solar-powered and wind-powered desalination systems. These systems not only reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels, but also make the process of desalination more sustainable by significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In addition to renewable energy-powered desalination, Saudi Arabia is also looking at other innovative ways to secure its water future. One of these is the exploration of new water sources. The country is investing in research and development to find and tap into untapped underground water reserves. This includes the use of advanced technology such as remote sensing and geospatial mapping to locate potential water sources. The nation's water strategy also includes a strong focus on water conservation. It aims to reduce water consumption by promoting water-efficient appliances, implementing water-saving irrigation techniques, and raising public awareness about the importance of water conservation. Saudi Arabia is also working on improving its water infrastructure. This includes building new reservoirs and pipelines, upgrading existing facilities, and implementing advanced water treatment and recycling systems. The goal is to reduce water loss and ensure that every drop of water is used efficiently. The future of water in Saudi Arabia is not just about securing enough water for its people. It's also about ensuring that the water is clean and safe. The country is implementing strict water quality standards and investing in advanced water treatment technologies to ensure that the water supplied to its people is of the highest quality. With these strategies, Saudi Arabia aims to ensure a water-secure future. The nation is setting an example for other arid regions around the world showing that with innovation, investment, and a strong commitment to sustainability, even the most water-scarce regions can secure a sustainable water future. So, we've seen how Saudi Arabia, a desert kingdom, manages its water needs. In this parched land, desalination plays a critical role. By transforming seawater into fresh water, Saudi Arabia ensures that its citizens and industries have access to the life-giving resource they need. Then, there's the tapping into underground water reserves. Through advanced technology and infrastructure, they're able to extract this hidden treasure, contributing significantly to the country's water supply. 
Water conservation is another key element in this puzzle. By promoting efficient use of water and implementing water-saving techniques, the kingdom is making every drop count. And lastly, we delved into the future of water in Saudi Arabia. With ambitious plans and innovative solutions, the country is paving the way towards a sustainable water future. As we've seen, managing water in a desert kingdom is a complex task, but with innovation and careful planning, Saudi Arabia is meeting the challenge head on. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.